Signalling is important on any railway line. We have to move trains that have got people on, so it has to be done in a safe manner. It has to be done in an efficient manner. So if we can do it as efficiently as possible, then we can get more trains into the system. I'm helping the operations readiness department, and that is ensuring that we have the trained staff that we have ready to operate the railway when we're able to do so. We have a simulator for the signaling system, the power system, the tunnel vent system, and we are running simulations and exercises trying to make them as realistic as possible and we do those on a weekly basis at the moment. There are seven or eight service and infrastructure managers, so there's eight of me. Each of us has three or four traffic managers who are the signals and power operators and then there are a team of incident response managers. These are people who are outside on the ground responding to incidents and reporting back in to the service and infrastructure manager wherever they go to and wherever they're deployed to. We're doing a whole range of scenarios. We're doing scenarios about broken rails. We're doing scenarios about power lines being dragged down. We've been doing simulations about organizing evacuations from trains, a person ill on the train. We will be developing them further and we'll be making them more interactive. We're gonna be using our training facility in Ilford and we'll be using that to send our incident response managers to our maintenance response teams and they'll be going to that facility so they'll be doing more hands-on work. The network operations team which I'm a, a part of, the people on it come from all sorts of different backgrounds. We have some railway people of course and quite rightly so but we have people from the ambulance service, we have people from the police service, we've got people from all over the place. Probably all travel managers have been itching to get our hands on in the system and actually deal with how it would be day to day. You can see that it can be a role that can be quiet at times and it can be quite busy at times depending on how the incidents really go on the day on a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, although I thought I, I knew a lot about the railway, I never realised how much there was to learn. Um, so yeah, definitely the knowledge I'm learning is great. Not having a railway background has put me in a much better position to be able to do my job properly and I now understand a lot more about railways. This just seemed a really interesting project to be part of. The fact that it was uh, cross rail and it's starting a railway, really nice to be in it on the start of it and watch it grow and set something into place. I can look back and go, I did that. <laughs>